Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series action figure review. We've got Han Solo in his Hoth outfit today. Uh, this is another re-release. Uh, obviously the archive line is the re-release wave. Uh, it just gives a chance to get new figures, older figures, back out into the line for collectors that missed them years ago. Now we're going back seven years ago since the initial release of Hoth Han Solo. Um, the, this has been updated with Photo Reel up photo real paint apps on the face and uh he's been given his hood up variation of the brown coat outfit now he originally came in this this style with the blue coat um and he was later released in uh convention exclusive i can't remember what convention is so excuse me on that one um where they did give him a brown coat but they gave him a uh hatless head um and a bit of a soft goods collar for the sort of fluffiness around his hood so um, doesn't appear to be a great deal of difference otherwise, so I will be comparing the three. Um, so let's crack open and have a look. All right, here is the new Hoth Han Solo out of the packaging. Um, again, really nice figure, cool update. Glad people are able to get a hold of this this figure um, when he's previously only been released uh, in a in a set with the Torn Torn back in 2014, and then in an exclusive set. So. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool to get this guy out again. We'll compare him with the other two releases because I do have them. Um, but we will just get a close look, basically at the head sculpt. That's the that's the uh, ticket price for admission with this figure. Uh, yeah, the hood does come off again. So yeah, you just get the. Uh, It's a little strange. <laughs> I know it's just because of the shape, just to just to match the uh, hood. The goggles could be better. It'd be nicer if they were clear. Um, I believe you can get them over his face like that. Yeah, it looks a, they look a little bit goofy like that. They'll be staying up here on the brim of the hat there. And uh, yeah, there's just a little slot in the back of the hood, just so that slots on. I do wish the neck was a little bit smaller. He did have a bit of a long neck with the uh, hood off, but just so that scarf could sit down flush, that would have been a nice little um, touch, but that's okay. Um, maybe I'd have tweaked that myself. But overall, it's the same, same paint apps. Did notice there is a little bit of a where was it? Yeah, a little bit of that sort of darker brown ink from the glove. That paint was sort of bled onto the onto the hand of the glove a little bit, but again, that's not a big problem for me personally. Anyway, the head sculpt looks good. Um, you know, it just shows that you know the sculpts have always been there. It's just the paint applications have sort of let the figures down in the past, and now they've got this for photo reel. Um, it can sort of help these figures a lot. Um, I'm not sure if I can say the same about the Luke. I haven't got him out of the packaging yet. I'll be reviewing him next. Um, so yeah, let's let's get a close up look at the other figures that have come in the past. So accessory wise, I will just run over that. Uh, all three have come with his DL44 and the. Uh, binoculars which you know they will sit around his neck but they're again just a little bit goofy not too bad they're all right so I'll just put him back there so we'll go back to the the release beforehand now the same the same as the body's exactly the same just different head and obviously this soft good scarf piece is just Exactly what it is. It's just a soft, good little scarf piece. Um, it's meant to represent the uh, front of the hood, but uh, it's you know, it's a little bit big. But it's fine. It's all right. It's no big deal. So that's a good look for you know when he's inside Echo Base. You know he's just come back in from his patrol. Now we'll go back to the initial release, which is. Yeah, it is infamous, or famous, <laughs> uh, blue jacket. So, 
Um, there's always been that sort of long going story where it's, um, no one's really sure whether it was brown, whether it was blue. And then the Power of the Force 2 figure came out and it was grey. <laughs> Probably, you know, sort of in between. But I do, I do like the look of this one. Um, if you're into the blue jacket look, um, and you do have both figures, you could do the head swap and uh, get the better looking Han in the blue outfit. I don't know, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I, I really like them both. I like the blue. It's a really nice looking blue. But I do like the brown. So it's definitely not the best uh, version of Han Solo that has come out. But uh, considering they've done three versions, it's probably the most they've done. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments which one you like the most. Are you a brown jacket or you're a blue jacket? <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. And hit the notification bell so you get my videos straight to your inbox. And you can be alerted as soon as a new video drops. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Until next time, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.